This is going to be our second video looking at graphs of sine, cos, and tan. Uh, we're going to look at some of the ways you can change the graphs in this video. So the first example we're going to look at is if you put a number before sine x. Okay, so in this case we're putting um, like just a, so it can be any number. So in the graph here we have y is equal to sine of x. Is this blue one here? So that's the one we were looking at in the last video. Um, all is perfectly normal. The period is two pi, so it repeats itself every two pi radians goes up to one and down to minus one, so that's its range. Uh, yeah, and it just keeps going on forever, kind of. So the red one here is y is equal to two sine x. So there's a number before sine x, so like the a here, in this case, a is equal to two. Uh, and we see that it goes up higher and down lower. So it still repeats itself at the same point, and it still crosses, or it still hits the origin. Uh, so other than that, it's exact same as the blue one, it just goes uh, up higher and down lower. So I'll say a, is our number before number before sine of x okay um it's going to make the graph bigger yeah so bigger and it goes down lower as well uh, or else you can say it changes the range okay so it changes range so this graph here y is equal to 2 sine of x. Our range in this case is going to be, so range is going to be, oh, I'll get rid of that, minus 2 and 2, okay? And so on. If you have y is equal to 5 sine x, this will go the whole way up to 5 and the whole way back down to minus 5, and the range will be minus 5, 5, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, we're going to move on to the next one, which is, y is equal to sine n of x. This is when you put a number, say, inside the bracket here, uh, before the x. So I'll change to purple here. So our red one is our original one, sine of x, we were looking at the last video. So it goes up to one, uh, crosses a pi, and then two pi, so that's the period. It repeats itself every two pi, goes up, down, and then starts again at two pi. So then we look at sine two x, okay? So now this blue one here goes up, goes down, and it comes back up at pi, okay? So in the time it takes the red one, the sine of x, to do, say, one period, to do one uh, repetition, the blue one does two repetitions, okay? Uh, and then the red one, look, goes, or there's a green one even, sine of 3x, so it's 3 before the x now, goes up, down, up, down, up, ooh, up down. So it does three repetitions before, um, as red does one repetition. So you see basically that the period is three times smaller. Yeah, because it does three repetitions and at the same time sine x does one. Um, so I'll go through that now exactly exactly what the number before it does. But basically it makes the period smaller, it makes it uh, repeat itself more often. Uh, and that's the effect that if you have a number before n. So it'll just be kind of tighter together, it'll be closer. It doesn't make it bigger or smaller, it, the range is still one and minus one. So let's scribble that quickly. So we have n, which is the number before uh, the x, okay, it changes the period, and uh, let's put in brackets, oh no, how often the graph repeats itself, okay, how often the graph repeats, yeah, um, and to look exactly at when that happens, I'll just scroll down a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna use this space here. So uh, if we look at this one here, y is equal to sine of x, okay? So y is equal to sine of x. We know p, which is gonna stand for period, is equal to 360 degrees or two pi, yeah? And um, so now we're gonna look at the blue one here. So y is equal to sine of two x, okay? We can see that the period here, so when does it repeat itself? At pi, okay, so every pi radians it's going to repeat itself. So I'll say p is equal to, and that's 180 degrees if we want to put that in degrees, 180 or pi. Uh, and I'll say that the third one, y is equal to sine of 3x. So the range is still the same for all of these. Now p is going to be, how often does it repeat itself? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's harder to tell exactly, but the answer is. Uh, no, wait, so the answer is either 120 degrees or 2 pi over 
three radians, okay? Uh, and the way I found that out, so the way uh, you might see a pattern coming every time, so this is 360, this is 2x, so it's 360 divided by two, this is 3x, it's 360 divided by three. So the pattern basically is, uh, I'll finish it in bright blue, that uh, y is equal to, I'm gonna call it sine of n of x, so this can be any number, then the period is, uh, is equal to 360 degrees divided by n, uh, or two pi divided by n, okay? So depending what that number is, uh, the period's gonna get smaller and smaller. So if you have a really big number in there, it's gonna go up and down like crazy, because uh, it's gonna repeat itself at a really like quick rate every every few radians or every few degrees it'll repeat itself, okay? Um, yeah, so normally uh, the period is 360 or two pi. If you put a number before the x in here, the period gets smaller, okay? And it gets smaller according to this rule here. So again, just the number before sine of x is gonna change the range, the period stays the same. The number before the x is gonna change the period and the range stays the same. And then this example here is just showing you that you can change both of them at the same time. So the blue one is just sine of x, okay? So it repeats itself every two pi. It doesn't uh, show pi in this uh, axis here. But then this purple one is two sine three x. So it's both of them, both them at the same time. So not only is it going up and down higher, but it's also repeating itself more times, more often than the blue one, okay? So hopefully that makes sense and just tell the difference. So you kind of look at them one at a time. So if I was looking at A here, A is gonna be two because it goes the whole way up to two, the whole way down to minus two. And then N here, you just count how many times it repeats itself uh, in two pi and it's three times, so three X. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. We're gonna look at cause in the next video. Um, yeah, again. Yeah.